something weird is happening on Mars. The latest Mars data shows weird activity going on on the red planet, which has left everyone shocked. The silence of Mars turned out to be an illusion. As a result, strong seismic activity is rumbling and grumbling across the surface of the red planet. The planet is experiencing dynamic tremors deep below its surface, and there may be hot lava flowing just beneath the Martian crust. If confirmed, it would alter our long-held beliefs about Martian geodynamics and imply that volcanic activity is not only possible, but still taking place on the red planet, and more frequently than previously thought. But what does this rumbling imply? What does this mean for our future knowledge of Martian geology? Lastly, and most importantly, how will this important discovery affect our search for life on Mars, both in the past and now? Stay tuned till the end to find out all these answers and much more. Now, let's get right into the video. Earthquakes are something everyone is familiar with, as they happen pretty much everywhere on Earth. But, as unbelievable as it may seem, Earth isn't the only planet in the solar system that has earthquakes. Just as we experience earthquakes on Earth, the Moon and Mars also experience moonquakes and Marsquakes, respectively. Even though it may seem out of the ordinary to experience a quake on the Moon or Mars, seismic activity is not limited to Earth. It's not even the only planet where seismometers provide information that helps us better understand the planet's structure, surface, and seismic activity. This is especially crucial because we can't sense what's happening below the surface of faraway planets like the Moon or Mars because of their great distance from us. Although the Earth's shaking is unsettling, this does not rule out the possibility of an explanation. Earthquakes can be traced back to the slow, steady motion of the tectonic plates that make up our planet, which causes friction and, in turn, seismic waves that reverberate through the various layers of rock, metal, and magma. We call the shaking of the ground caused by seismic waves passing through the Earth's crust an earthquake. The best part, of course, is that these seismic movements can be monitored using a wide range of instruments, such as seismometers, which can detect even the most minute of vibrations. This not only helps us better understand the inner workings of our planet, but it also allows us to anticipate the next potential seismic event. Seismic activity occurs on Mars less frequently and for different reasons than on Earth, but the opposite is also true. We can now examine the interiors of both these faraway worlds thanks to recent experiments and seismometers deployed on Mars. The findings demonstrate that, despite superficial differences, the interiors of Earth, Mars, and the Moon share more in common than previously thought, albeit with some striking differences. Seismic Revelations at times, it seemed unlikely that scientists would be successful in the Mars mission. NASA's decision in 2012 to spend $994 million developing and launching InSight was met with some criticism due to the agency's backlog of other Mars mission proposals. Then, the two-year, $150 million launch delay was caused by issues with the construction of its ultra-sensitive seismometer. A German-built instrument known as the Mole, which was supposed to measure heat flow in the soils and failed when InSight arrived on Mars, was unable to do so because it was too large to fit into the rover's landing capsule. It took the mission five months after landing to detect its first Marsquake, and when it did, scientists had a hard time making sense of the data. The second Martian year was a much better one for InSight. The location of the spacecraft is in Elysium Planitia, which is close to the Martian equator. Cerberus Fossi, located about 1,500 kilometers away, is a geologically active region where underground injections of magma are thought to cause earthquakes, which are where many of the quakes it detects originate. The spacecraft first picked up on Mars quakes on the other side of the planet in August and September of 2021. The largest earthquake ever detected by InSight occurred on May 4th of this year, with a magnitude of 4.7. Most quakes detected by InSight are in the magnitude 2 to 3 range. It would be possible for humans to feel such an earthquake on Earth if they were located close to the epicenter. What was learned from the big one has not yet been published. Nonetheless, its magnitude was such that it transmitted seismic energy through the Martian crust's outer layers, producing a surface wave. Surface waves provide more information about a planet's interior than other seismic waves. Deep Impacts Meanwhile, 
Researchers have studied the surface waves that were produced by the two historic meteorite impacts that occurred last year on September 18th and December 24th. As far as tens of thousands of kilometers away, Insight managed to pick them up. They shook the Martian crust north of Insight, close to a significant geological boundary where the landscape is flatter and less cratered than the southern highlands. The northern crust appears to be denser than the crust beneath Insight, which landed in a region where the rocks are particularly porous, as suggested by the propagation of surface waves through the northern crust. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter helped Insight pinpoint the epicenter of the tremors, MRO. Craters on the surface left by each impact were identified by scientists examining images from the orbiter, and the dates on which they formed were established. Both craters are larger than 130 meters in diameter, making them the largest fresh craters seen during the MRO's 16-year observation of the planet. Very, very strange chemistry on Mars. Ever since it touched down in an ancient lake bed on the Red Planet in February 2021, NASA's Perseverance rover has been on the lookout for signs of life. Three recent studies have provided intriguing new information about the past habitability of Mars, while also reducing the likelihood of future discoveries of Martian life. There is abundant evidence that Mars was warmer, wetter, and more welcoming many billions of years ago. But now, it is a cold and desiccated world that is hostile to life. NASA dispatched Perseverance to scour the ancient Martian landscape for fossilized traces of any bygone microbes that may have emerged in the lakes and rivers that once flowed during this epoch. In addition, the rover is collecting samples from Jezero Crater that the mission team hopes can be brought back to Earth by a future spacecraft for more in-depth study. Nearly two years of interplanetary research were devoted to collecting the necessary data for the new studies. Very unusual chemistry, not seen on Earth, is being observed in such an environment, and it appears to be more common on Mars than previously thought. Such materials have been observed in nearly all Mars missions. Organic molecules, necessary for all forms of life, were also picked up by the instrument, proving that Jezero Crater was once a suitable environment for human habitation. This research was termed as Sherlock, and although Sherlock's findings confirm that Jezero Crater had the necessary ingredients to sustain microbes, this in no way proves that life ever emerged on Mars. All the other instrument groups corroborated this overall picture. In addition to Sherlock, Perseverance carries an X-ray spectrometer known as Pixel and a stereoscopic camera with zoom capabilities known as Mastcam Z. Setoff formation rocks were analyzed by the Pixel team, and the results revealed previously impossible to unambiguously constrain watery alterations to minerals and crystals. A separate study published in Science Advances by the Mastcam Z team reported that they found no compelling evidence for lacustrine sedimentation in the crater floor regions, thus far explored using Rover, which means that they have not yet found sedimentary rocks that might preserve any ancient signs of life. But now that Perseverance is here, future studies can hopefully shed light on whether or not the crater's remains of a massive dried-up delta contain any more of this sedimentary rock. Collectively, the findings of these recent studies bring us closer to comprehending the tantalizing and habitable Mars that existed billions of years ago. This is just the beginning of what will be many years of exploration on the Martian surface before the samples collected by Perseverance are successfully brought back to Earth and made available to scientists here. These investigations may help resolve one of science's most fundamental mysteries one day. Is Earth the only planet in the universe where life has ever existed? Only time will tell. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about the seismic activities happening on Mars? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.